started taking Bitcoin in like 2015. It's built for us, like it makes sense. It's low fees, it's no chargebacks, it's anonymous, like it's, hello. I need you to squirt this on my ass. Okay. This is this dumb digital currency for buying drugs online. Now it's a dumb digital currency and you can buy really expensive art to put on your TV. <laughs> it was not about, you know, becoming a millionaire or billionaire. The great experiment we're attempting is the separation of money and state. What do you think Abe Lincoln would have thought of Bitcoin? He would have loved it. Oh my God. Woo! So this is like a million dollars here. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight million dollars worth of ASICs. Ransomware has really changed now to these at-scale attacks. This can impact whether I can potentially buy food for my family, whether I can get fuel for my car, whether I can actually get to work. This is real. I'm sorry, did you say monkey jizz? Yeah. <laughs> I took like 40 minutes on YouTube, half a blunt in, and I made my own code. Which I guess people liked it enough to just buy it for no reason. And I'm just like, when you first heard the word like cryptocurrency, what did you think of it? Money coming back from the dead. I think cryptocurrency is a net plus for the environment, and in fact, a big net plus for the environment. We're taking natural gas and converting it into Bitcoin. Gas is unable to be sold to a pipeline. That's a win-win for everybody. If you lose your password to your crypto assets, where are the guys you call? The only hope now is to recall it somehow. So a uh, sensory deprivation tank, a massive amount of mushrooms, I don't know. This is secure, I know where it is, I will always know where it is. It's like, it's in the back of my hand. This is essentially a crypto anarcho-capitalist nation come perhaps true. <laughs> yeah, we are cryptocurrency on the coffee. We don't accept currency that is imposed by the state. Although you're kind of forcing me to use it right now to get a coffee, aren't you? <laughs> uh, well. I think you have to be a little bit crazy to be a citizen of Lieberland. We are all crazy, I think. It must be hard building a nation that you need a speedboat to access. Hey, we got the police, police, police. That's crazy. <laughs>